Good morning. Um, you learn pretty quickly in public speaking that you really have to engage your audience quickly. And as you've talked with people today, we're pretty much in an impossible situation. It's one of the nicest days in uh, Hanover outside today. And it's also really hard to compete with um, people chopping wood. And by the looks of the room, it looks like the chainsaws are winning out on the green. Um, so to solve this problem, I uh, have put up some slides from, uh, that will cycle through that show life outside of the classroom. And so feel free to laugh and smile and comment on the pictures. That's what they're here for. They're old pictures and new pictures. And also I've included some quotes from um, a qualitative research project on student involvement at Dartmouth. Um, so let's begin. Um, I thought an appropriate way to start would be to talk about what's happening at Dartmouth right now. And um, President-elect Jim Yong Kim had this to say about the power of Dartmouth College education in February right here on this stage. He said, education is not about transferring knowledge, it's about learning how to be citizens of the world, how to work effectively with others as part of a team, and how to emerge from your studies with an enduring and robust philosophy of life. I'm glad it's working. I think this statement by Kim Yong, um, President-elect Kim, perfectly captures the work of the College Center and Student Activities Office. Um, good morning, my name is Eric Ramsey, and it's really my privilege to serve as the director of the College Center and Student Activities. What, you may wonder, what is it? For this, I want to go backwards just for a minute, and I promise it'll be brief because I think the history of the College Center and Student Activities is really important. Um, I think you all have a pretty good idea what um, call, uh, Student Activities is. It's involvement in student organizations, anything from participating in an a cappella group or the chess club, to writing for an academic journal like the Collegiate Journal of Art, or um, our 100-year-old satire magazine, the Dartmouth Jack Lantern. It also includes all the wonderful things that your son or daughter hopefully has called you about, um, the things that make Dartmouth really special, like uh, all the traditions, the bonfire, winter carnival, powwow, Green Key Weekend, which is coming up in two weeks, culture nights, and even the reason why you're here today, family weekends. However, there's, I, there's something really special here at Dartmouth that I want to highlight, and it's the Collis Center. The Collis Center, which hopefully all of you visited yesterday, um, is the center of campus life at Dartmouth. And it's a gift from Charles and Ellen Collis. Um, Charlie was the class of 1937, and during his time here, he really didn't have any money. And he wasn't a part of a fraternity. And he wanted, when he left Dartmouth, he wanted to create a place where all students would feel welcome and could create um, new ideas and experiment and where the amount of money that you had didn't really matter. And it was f flexible and open enough to embrace all people and all ideas. In 1979, which is quite a while ago these days, he made the commitment to Dartmouth to create this space and he transformed part of the 77-year-old college hall, which is right across the street, to um, create space designated solely for students. In 1992, he, he changed the entire building and transformed the entire building to be a student center. And College Hall was renamed at that point to be the College Center. It really, in that time, has become a home away from home for many Dartmouth students, a laboratory where students can try out new ideas. And as the name of the largest room suggests, which you hopefully saw yesterday, a common ground for all students. To give you just a glimpse of the place and our work, College Center and Student Activities houses 147 student organizations, eight governance groups, hosts hundreds of events a year, and Collis, just the little building right across the street, had 1.5 million visitors last year. And that is with in the middle of being in the middle of nowhere, New Hampshire. So I'm sure you've heard that from your students. But most importantly for our conversation today that frames our conversation, we have six core values in the College Center that I want to talk about that guide the work of our office and hopefully will help guide some of the conversations with your students and what they can learn in their out of class activities. Um, our core values are discovery, connection, community, innovation, excellence, and balance. I want to leave a message with you all here today uh, that we can work together in helping students achieve some long-term goals. I think you'll find that it's pretty obvious to choose and pick out which uh, things are short-term benefits of involvement in student organization. They're meeting people, developing and um, planning and organizing skills, and following individual interest. 
However, since I have only 10 minutes, and it's quickly going by, I want to speak of the, some of the longer-term benefits gained in involvement. Let's start with discovery. As you all know, every student here is remarkable, and your student is remarkable as well. They come here with such wide and divergent experience and interests, but that isn't enough. Discovery means, for the Kala Center, trying something new, seeing something for the first time, wrestling with a problem, and operating successfully in an ambiguous situation. As you talk to your student, I ask for you to ask them, what are they doing? How are they stretching themselves? How are they experiencing something different? Encourage them to try something unexpected and new. The four years here at Dartmouth are magical, but as you know, they go by quickly. As they, ex and one last favor, as they experience these things, often comes with it dissonance and conflict, and as your, their parents, I want to ask you, don't fix and solve their problems for them. Lend a compassionate ear, advise, but don't fix. I promise through their student organization involvement, they'll make it through. Connections for the Kala Center means building meaningful, appropriate, and mature relationships. The power, as you know, of Dartmouth education is often the connection with, to other students, faculty, alumni, and of course, this physical place. And let me be clear, as you talk with your student, this place should be used for everything that it has to offer. But one thing with, the with connections and community is forgotten. It also calls for contribution. Encourage your student to use their voice and their talents and their abilities for the greater good of Dartmouth and of this place and learn about someone or something different. And this leads me to community. As Skip, I'm sure, told you this morning, more and more employers are looking for students to not only be aware of different cultures and communities, but also they need to have a working and thorough understanding of them. They need to know more. The communities here at Dartmouth are complex and diverse, but most importantly, open. Push your student to expose themselves to new, new things. Community is a word that's used often here, and I think sometimes overused. For Collis, community is something you just don't drop in and out of. It's something you intentionally join, commit to, and learn from. Innovation, our next value, is a core value because at Collis because it speaks to the outstanding nature of our students. I work here and I love my job here because I get to spend the entire day working with creative geniuses. I have the benefit of meeting at one moment with a student to talk about a lecture they're interested in sponsoring on the ethics of stem cell research, next to a group of students wanting to bring a rock band to the green, and then rushing across campus to a meeting to talk with a student about developing a service trip for students to build a water filtration, filtration system for a village in Nigeria. What is exceptional is that as I'm walking home at night, reflecting on the day, I'm confident that each will happen and happen well. Innovation for me personally is how sometimes from the crazy ideas, great things emerge and impossible problems are solved. In Collis, I want you to know we're about idea formation and then implementation. I would like to talk about the last two values together. How many of you um, with, with your student on the phone or by blitz, they say, mom and dad, I'm so busy, I'm in the middle of midterms, I have a meeting with a professor at nine, then I'm going to my dean's office hours, and then I'm headed to college for a student organization meeting, then I'm gonna write, work on my writing homework, and then I'm gonna have breakfast. Well, actually, here, for some students it may be lunch, but you get the point I'm trying to make. Life at Dartmouth is more than work hard and play hard, and I'm sure you've heard those words. Yes, those are important parts of the community, but don't let your students spread themselves too thinly. The stress of this place is enormous, and what you should know is that much of it is self-imposed. Think about it. If all your student is running from one place to the next in order to get as much as he or she can crammed into one day, and thereby on their future resume, they are not excelling. Excellent work requires time, patience, and dedication. They shouldn't be involved in 10 organizations. What organizational involvement can teach is interpersonal in nature, and it should be deep. Scratching the surface in many things doesn't commun com communicate to educators, future employers, our graduate schools, persistence, challenge, and again, can't emphasize this enough, commitment. Please, as a favor to me also, please talk with your student about the amount of sleep they're getting. 
Late nights and the rare all-nighters are sometimes necessary here, but Dartmouth students need more sleep. Encourage them to take the night off once in a while and get a full eight hours of sleep. And finally, make sure they're eating well. As you all know, and contrary to what your student may tell you sometimes, we have some of the best eating and dining options in the country here. Make sure they balance their meals. So the clock is ticking for me and I have to wrap it up. I hope that I've sparked a couple of conversation points for you and your student. I hope our core values in the College Center and student activities can help you in support of your student. And please know, as everyone has told you, there are a wealth of resources here at Dartmouth. And if you ever need my assistance, please feel free to blitz me. I'm sure you know how it works. Um, or my phone number um, can be easily looked up. And also, I would love to speak with your student, so feel free to send him or her my way. My office is on the third floor of the College Center, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.